welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about what it's like to take a social media detox, how to do it, what benefits it gives you, what my experience was in doing it this summer and how it's literally changed my life. So firstly I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience, why I chose to have a social media detox and how I did that. So for those of you that know me I'm a social media content creator that means I'm on my phone almost all day every day. I post on Instagram and TikTok especially at least once a day and I love my job, I love what I do and I've never really thought about deleting my social media apps or ever feeling the need to have a break but the reason that I chose to this summer was because my mental health was in a really bad place. This summer was probably the worst my mental health has ever been and I had like a very serious depressive episode where not only did I quit social media but I essentially just put my whole life on pause and just wanted to disconnect from everything. I even messaged my friends and I said I'm not going to reply for a while like I'll reach out to you when I'm ready. I wasn't meeting up with friends for a while and I really just wasn't doing anything all of the things I enjoyed so like going to the gym and stuff as well I just quit it all and obviously social media was one of those things but I would say it was the biggest thing because that's something I'm on every single day so the way that I did it wasn't exactly something that I eased into it was very much zero to 100 real quick I announced my leave on my Instagram story I deleted all of the apps straight away and because my social media apps weren't on my phone and because I wasn't texting my friends I essentially would just leave my phone in another room every single day for two months. When I was waking up in the mornings, I didn't have anything to scroll through and check. I didn't have anybody texting me. I didn't have anything to post. And weirdly, I adjusted to it very, very quickly. I thought it was going to be hard, especially as someone who always likes to check social media. But I felt so at peace with it and so happy that I didn't have anything to check and that I had no idea what anybody was doing. It was amazing, like I loved it. And I really didn't have the urge at all to get back on social media. So that was a blessing. I think that definitely came with the fact that my mental health was in a bad place. But by no means am I saying that your mental health has to be in a bad place for you to take a social media detox. I think everybody should do it at least once, maybe like once a year, every few months. Just take 30 days or two months in my case where you delete the apps because you will get up to so much and you will learn so much about yourself. And now I'm gonna go through the five main things that I learned and the things that changed my life when I took this two month social media break. So the first thing I learned was that I felt so much more inspired, which I wasn't expecting. When your mental health is bad, you really don't wanna do anything. You literally just wanna be a couch potato all day, every day. And I definitely was doing that, but not having a little device in my hand, which was distracting me from my thoughts, really helped. I literally had to sit alone with my thoughts and process them and think about them and deal with them. And so that led me to coming up with new ideas and wanting to pick up new creative hobbies. One thing I used to love when I was a teenager was baking. I used to bake all the time and I hadn't done it in so many years because like life got busy or if I was bored, I would just be scrolling on TikTok and Instagram for hours. And because I didn't have that, I started picking up baking and I would bake banana bread and all of these different desserts throughout this two month period of me taking a break from life and just picking up that hobby made me feel so much more accomplished and refreshed as opposed to what it would have been like to have used those two hours to scroll on social media instead. Now the second thing I learned was that I was way more productive. This was another thing I wasn't expecting because I had kind of put a pause on everything in my life. I didn't have any reason to be productive, I didn't have any work to do. I kind of granted myself this two month holiday where I didn't have to do anything and I was just free to just lay around feeling sorry for myself, being depressed, watching TV all day, that kind of thing. And don't get me wrong, I definitely did that but not having a phone and not having that extra distraction in sight when I got bored meant that I always felt the urge to get something done and to do something productive each day so this led me to reading a whole book in one day like I got so sick of tv and I knew I didn't want to go back on my phone yet as well because I needed to get my mental health back so I literally just sat on the sofa I just bought a new book as well I was really excited to read it and I just finished the whole thing in a day I must have been reading for like around eight hours maybe a little bit more than that and I felt so accomplished at the end of the day and just doing something like that can do wonders for your mental health. Even if you're choosing to do a social media detox and you're absolutely fine, you're just doing it to see if you can be more productive. Trust me when I tell you, 
not being on social media and therefore spending less time on your phone will do wonders because you literally have no choice but to do the work. Like, what are you going to procrastinate with? Right? I think we can all relate when I say when you're on social media, especially TikTok because that's the most popular app nowadays, you can lose three or four hours like that and not even realize that you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna sit down and have like a quick 10 minute scroll on TikTok and it turns into hours and you don't know how. So when you don't have that distraction and you don't have that thing there just, just to quickly scroll on, you gain so much time and you actually realize how much time you have in a day and how long every single day is. And because of this extra time gained, you're gonna be more productive. So I read in a book in a day, I even got back into painting, like I'd spend a couple of hours each day painting, that was really good for me. I'd go on a walk out in nature when I felt like I had the energy for it. And on top of this, you will end up going to sleep and waking up much earlier. When I was tired and I went up to bed at midnight, I would just fall asleep straight away because you literally just have to lie there and stare at the ceiling until you fall asleep because you have nothing to scroll on. And not having a phone screen to stare at when you're supposed to be going to sleep makes you fall asleep that much faster. Similarly with waking up, it was so weird waking up in the morning and just thinking, well, I just have to get up now. I can't just lay here and chill. I just, I would literally, my alarm would go off and I would step out of bed that second. It's a really weird feeling, but I actually really liked it and it does mean that you get more hours in your day and therefore a more productive day. The third result of quitting social media for two months and being on this detox away from my phone was that I was so much more present in everyday life. As I said before, I wasn't really seeing friends as it was, but I was seeing my family um, every single day. And when I was around my family members, I was just in the moment and I was just talking to everybody and spending time. You can't just sit on the sofa in the corner scrolling on your phone or go off and do your own thing. And it was really nice to be so present and appreciate these special moments that you would have otherwise missed if you were on your phone. Towards the end of these two months, when I started to feel a little bit better, I'd go out for lunch with my family to a restaurant or I'd meet a friend. I would have my phone in my pocket, like just for emergencies, but I wouldn't touch it the entire time. And being a social media content creator and just being obsessed with Instagram in general, anytime I'd ever go anywhere, whether it be a restaurant or something, I would always pull up my phone as soon as I got there to snap the location and snap the food I was eating and post an Instagram story about it. And I love doing that, don't get me wrong. And now that I am back on social media, I'm back to doing that and I still love it. But having those two months where I wasn't doing that just made me that much more present. And I found a lot of peace in not feeling pressure on having to post where I was and just kind of having a break from that content creator lifestyle. Number four links to number three and that is I felt like I had so much more freedom. It's a weird one but honestly I felt so free not having these social media apps on my phone, not having to post and the biggest one is not having any clue what anybody was up to in their life. Even my friends I didn't know what they were up to because I wasn't talking to them at this time and I like every single day I wake up and I will go and I will flick through Snapchat stories or Instagram stories and I just, I wasn't. And so I went literally two months not knowing what was going on in anybody's life, including my best friends, my friends, acquaintances, people at uni, my favorite influencers. And it was amazing. I feel like I always see people post on social media that, oh, I wish I could just delete everything and go off the grid and no one knows what I'm up to and I can just escape reality or go to a secluded island and escape the real world. You do not need to do that. That is what I realized from having a social media detox. You do not need to go to that length. All you need to do is delete your social media apps off your phone for a period of time and it literally allows you to go off the grid and escape the whole world. And you realize in that moment when you don't know what is going on in other people's lives that it's just you and the situations are so much bigger than you as well. I literally felt like I was invisible, but in a really good way. And I liked that no one knew what was happening in my daily life and no one could reach out to me to ask that. And I wasn't like reading through DM requests every day, and emails and Snapchat messages. Um, on top of this, I didn't have any FOMO whatsoever. And that was actually one of the main reasons for me deleting my social media apps. I knew if my mental health was bad, I couldn't have these apps on my phone which would mean that I'd be comparing my, like the lowest point in my life where my mental health is terrible to other people's highlight reels where they're posting the best moments of their days every single day on their Instagram story. It would make my mental health so much worse. And I think it's a good thing to delete your apps and not know what other people are up to, even if you might feel a little bit weird about that or not knowing what's going on necessarily in the world or in the lives of other people you know. 
but it's such a great idea to take that break from you comparing your life to others and even if you don't think you're doing it subconsciously that's what social media is doing to you you are looking at other people and what they're doing in their lives and certain things you see might stay in your head for the rest of the day and it might make you feel worse or better about your life I don't know but it's really nice to just not know anything at all there's no comparison involved and the last pretty much life-changing thing that came from the social media detox was boosted self-esteem as I was saying before when you get off these social media apps and you stop being able to check up on what other people are doing what people are wearing what they look like when you make up is in fashion and all the new fashion trends and all of that and you just have what's right in front of you and that's all you know you really start to appreciate what you already have instead of just chasing the next best, best thing or the next thing you're supposed to be wearing or the fashion trend you're supposed to be following or what this person looks like what that model is up to you just feel so much better about yourself because you're not comparing yourself to anybody anymore and i would say this has changed my life for the better so much more. So what happened when I came back to social media in September was that I changed my entire approach to social media. Okay, so now that we've talked about the five main things that I've learned from taking the social media detox, I wanna talk about how this has changed my life and how I am implementing those lessons into my approach to social media going forward. So firstly, I really didn't expect to enjoy being on social media so much. Honestly, I thought it would be more a struggle than anything else considering how much time I spent on social media before and how much I thoroughly enjoyed it. But having realized how much peace I had being away from a screen and how much I loved not knowing what other people were up to. What I did when I came back onto social media was I unfollowed so many people. I am now following, I think around 250 people. And this isn't because I have an issue with anybody that I was following before, but I really wanted to minimize the amount of content I would be able to access and look at on my social feeds every day. So I took up a bunch of people off Snapchat that I didn't really talk to anymore. And anybody that I follow on Instagram that I don't know personally or I'm close to, it's people whose content genuinely inspires me, makes me feel good and refreshed when I see it, or it teaches me something. So when I go onto social media, it is a more positive, refreshing, and even educational experience as opposed to before, which was just mindless scrolling and seeing what influencers were up to and all of that stuff. So having minimized my Instagram following to 200 people, that means I spent a lot less time on the app. Similarly with Snapchat, I don't really like to flick through stories on there all the time. If you can't unadd someone, you like, I have muted so many people on these apps. Um, even on Twitter, I've muted so many people. And when I go on Twitter, it's literally just fashion accounts. So I can get inspiration on there or people that talk about financial literacy or motivational quotes. That's literally my whole Twitter feed. So a lot of people can like complain about going on Twitter and feeling a bit drained because there's so much negativity and trolling on the app. I see none of that because I've spent a long time muting anything that might annoy me or put me in a bad mood for the rest of the day. So after having the social media detox, I now go about life in a way where I prioritize real time and being present over screen time. I am barely on my phone. I absolutely love my job as a content creator, but what has changed is I will now go on Instagram to post a story and post my post and then I will go. I no longer scroll through my feed. I might like the top two or three posts and that is it. I don't go on the explore page. I will scroll through Twitter as much as I want until my heart's content because I'm learning so much on there. Same with TikTok, my following is very minimal. It's all people that inspire me or influence me in a positive way. Um, and even with Snapchat, I have about five stories to look through each day because I only have pretty much my bestest friends on there whose stories I actively watch. And this is why I wanna say that it's so essential that you also try and have a social media detox. Even if it's for a week, I really encourage you guys to try it because it's truly changed my life and the way I I go about my days that has just enhanced my overall mood and productivity so give it a go if you want to talk about this a little bit more you can always dm me on instagram at tamcore i always respond if you want any further advice but that is all from me on today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment below on what you thought or what you'd like to see next from me and i will see you guys in the next video bye